There's a new Grayscale Season song. I don't need to mince words. We're skipping right to this. I'm hitting play right now. I need to hear more of that chorus. A little fall. That's sick. What? Dude, I have chills. This is beautiful. <laughs> wow. That was unbelievably good. You had the beginning part, which was... Where were we there? Yeah, it was like, here, in like C-sharp minor. And then all of a sudden we go to... That was such a beautiful key change. Very unexpected too, because they're not related. It's not a typical key change that you would usually do. You wouldn't normally go from C sharp minor to, to G. Specifically because they're a tritone apart. It's like you're here and you're kind of here, and the reason it's so jarring is because.
think it goes right to the... Yeah. Yeah, it goes from from this chord right to this chord, even though it's it's from here to here. It goes down a whole step. So the key only changes down a whole step, but the big jarring change is because it goes from this chord to this chord. And it's a tritone interval, which is the ugliest interval. But when done right, it can be beautiful. A really common chord, uh, which is a 7 chord, let's take a, a C7 chord, for example. This is a really common chord. It's used all the time in all kinds of music. But it sounds weird, and it has some tension in it because it has that tritone interval. The E to the B flat is a tritone interval, but you put the notes around it. Right? It doesn't sound bad. So it's all about the context in which it's used in. And the context here is beautiful. It goes from this really heavy part. And we're kind of... And then all of nowhere, all out of nowhere, we get... And then we go with that for the last half of the song. That's beautiful. That has to be one of the best key changes I think I may have ever heard. That's so unique and interesting. And it not only switches up the key in a really unique and interesting, weird way. I gotta find other words to use besides just unique and interesting. I do use those a lot, I know. But it doesn't just do that, but it switches up the whole feel of it as well. And we go to a different chord progression, where instead of like the first one, like we've had, there were some, there's like a bunch of different chords or whatever. And then when we go to this key, instead of having a lot of different chords, it deals mostly with the six to the one. I love this chord progression. I love six to one or one to three or one of the like any of those chords that are, th uh, are like thirds apart or like and i think what i like most about it is it's a very subtle change because the difference in notes between this chord and this chord are not much it's just adding it's adding one note. I mentioned it in some other video, I can't remember what it was, but this chord, the B minor chord, all you have to do to get the next chord is add this note. But it does so much with so little. Again, subtle, very little, minimal changes, but so, so interesting with just those little changes. I love that kind of stuff. And that little guitar part was so good. Ah, oh, another banger from Grayscale Season. I haven't heard their other recent singles. I think I might save them for the album, because doesn't it come out in March or something? Uh, but I had to hear this one because it just came out, and I figured I'd, I'd jump on it and check it out. Oh, that's, that's so good. <laughs> I can't wait for this new album. I am, I'm reacting to this day one. This is going to be one of those that... I need to hear as soon as it comes out. But thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you all later. Love you all. Peace out. Bye. See ya.